In this particular chapter, we'll be talking about the concept of structured output. So when you're using a Google Vertex AI, now this is also applicable for other LLMs as well. Whenever you're giving a query as an input or a prompt as an input, now you'll always get text as an output. Now using your structured output, you can have a well-defined JSON to be your output. Now, because the output is in the form of a JSON, you can do multiple things with it. You can either send it to another API or you could probably store it in your cloud storage or any other storage application. So now let's see how the structured output looks like. So let's go back to our console. I'm back in my console. So if you go to this output format, you can see that you have an option between plain text and JSON. So you can just click on JSON, click on edit, and here you will find a few examples of an already structured output. So let's say you want to summarize review ratings. If you want to classify a product, identify objects. So these are some of the examples that we have. So let's look at the summarize review ratings. So here you will see that this is how the output format should look like. How Now, if you look at this particular structured output, it will give you two things. It will give you the rating for that particular restaurant and it will give you the flavor for that particular restaurant. So what we can do is we can get a few set of reviews for a particular restaurant and those reviews will be converted into a JSON which will contain the rating and the flavor. So let's just apply this. So the next thing we'll do is we'll get some sample ratings for some restaurants. So let's go. So here I've typed Zomato food review sample and here I get a few sample reviews for certain restaurants. So let's just copy this and I will paste it here. So let's see how the output would look like. So here you can see that these reviews are basically converted into a JSON. So the flavor is a little deceptive. So maybe what we could do is we could just change the name for this. Let's click on edit. And instead of flavor, we'll just tell, or we'll just uh, convert this into summary. Okay, so now that I've changed it to summary, the output looks something like this. Now this particular output can be basically used in another downstream application. Maybe you can, or maybe you can call this for another API, or you could probably just store this in your cloud storage as well. So what we'll do is we'll create an application that will take in this input, and we will take this output and we will store this into a Google Cloud Storage. So let's see how this is done. Okay, so let's go back to our drawing board again. So what we'll do is we'll create an application. So we'll be using a GCP Cloud function. Now you could use other tools like Lambda or any other serverless application as well. Now for convenience sake, I'm using Cloud Function. So in this particular application that we will be programming in Python, we would take in the input. Now this input would be a set of reviews and the output would be structured. So the output would be in the form of a summary and it would contain the rating. And this, I would store it into a cloud storage text file. Now you could store this in other applications as well. So you could store it in your SQL or you could store it in your Firestore or any other third party uh, storage application. So let's see how this is done. So let's go back to our console once more. And what I'll do is I'll go to the documentation for output format. So you can just click on edit and click on this learn more about structured output. And here you can see the documentation for that. So like previously, what we'll do is we'll take a sample version of our particular code and we'll use that as an example to create our application. So here we can see that we have a particular sample code here. So it's pretty much the same code, but it's in Python. So I'll, I'll just copy this. And our aim is that, so this is a Python application. It's not a application or this is not the code that we need to run on Google Cloud Functions. So I'll just copy this and I'll go to my Vertex AI. I'll go to my chat and I'll paste it here. Make sure you're using the latest model. So let's click on send message. So the next thing I'll do is I'll ask the prompt to generate a GCP Cloud Function version of this particular piece of code. A few other things I'm going to mention is that the input is going to come from the uh, from the body of the API. And the other thing I'm going to mention is that the output should be stored in your cloud storage. So let's just write that particular prompt. So once I've got this, I'll also ask the LLM to generate the requirements.txt file as well. Now this is how generally coding will be done.
going forward most of the code would be generated by the llm so all that you need to do is just give the proper prompt so let's see whether this particular piece of code runs so i'll just copy this and let's go to our cloud function and let's create a new function let's copy this first so i'll be using the older version of cloud function click on save next so here instead of node i'll be using python now remember that there is no node version currently available for this so i have to use python so let's just delete this and paste a piece of code and again make sure that you've given the proper entry point so this is the entry point so i just copy this and i'll paste it here and the next thing is the requirements.txt as well so again let's go back to our llm and let's just paste this so let's go back to our main.py so here what you need to do is you need to update these two values so i'll just update the project id so to get your project id you can just go to your and copy this and your bucket name is let's go to a cloud storage and let's create a bucket so let's go to our cloud storage so i've already created a bucket so let's get that bucket name let's go to cloud storage let's just cancel this so we've done with this i don't think we need this anymore so this is the name of the bucket so let's just copy this i'll copy this name and let's just paste it over there and everything else looks proper i don't think there's any other change that we need to do so let's go back and let's deploy this okay so our function has run so there's one extra change that we need to make we need to click on edit and we need to just update this from flavor to summary let's do that as well so let's click on flavor and let's just update this to summary and the next thing that we need to do is we need to also mention in the prompt that you just need to summarize the reviews and the other thing i'll do is i'll get some sample inputs for this so the easiest way to do it is again let's just copy this piece of code let's go to our vertex ai and i'll just paste this code and i'll ask vertex ai, vertex AI to create some inputs for me okay so let's copy this and let's paste it over here let's go to our testing and let's just paste this and let's click on test the function so here you can see that the output has been created now the next thing we'll do is we'll go to the cloud storage and see whether the cloud storage has stored this particular data as well so let's go to our cloud storage and you can see that there has been a text json file created so if i open this let's just download this you can see that the same output has been created over here as well so this is so that's it for this one guys i'll see you in the next